Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get started in tech as a girly. Now, you don't actually have to be a gal, you could just be female identifying, or if you're a part of the LGBTQ plus community, you are totally welcome. This channel is just for us to all learn regardless of our orientation, gender, race, anything. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get into tech slash crypto though. And the truth is tech is male dominated, only 35% of women are in tech. And out of that 35%, only 5% are Asian American like me. And you know, out of that too, any other POC is a lot lower. So we can see here that there's not a lot of women in tech and especially specifically in crypto, only five to 7% of uh, crypto holders are female. And you can see this huge need of more representation in tech and crypto. So that's why this video is here. For those who are curious, I'm Jade. I make a ton of videos on this channel about the creator economy, but recently I've been sharing the journey of building my startup NF Treehouse. I've ran multiple businesses in the past, but I am just committed on working in tech and climate change. So my project NF Treehouse plants trees as NFTs. And I've just been on this journey of helping girly gals, anybody really learn something new, even though it can be intimidating. So if you want to learn more, we can keep on watching. So the first question I know a lot of people ask is why tech, why crypto? Why should I care as someone that isn't in this industry? Well, I think the first thing that's important is money. <laughs> like the truth is there's so much money in tech, right? Like you could be, you know, studying any degree, but the one that has the most certainty, not all jobs are certain, but the one that has the most certainty has to do with tech, right? The biggest companies in the world are tech companies. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but it doesn't need to be something where you're contributing to an evil corporation that is like over, like gonna control the world, right? Like just because there's money doesn't also mean it's awful. There are a lot of companies and nonprofits in tech that use technology like my project to fight climate change or social impact. So you know, a lot of people think you have to sacrifice your ethical needs to make money. And that's not true. You can actually make money and do good. And I will talk about that in this video. The second reason why you should care about being in tech or learning something new in crypto is just because there are so many creative jobs that are non-technical in tech. I recently, just now, I got offered a, a part-time job. It's $3,000 a month. And I'm just gonna be doing marketing for um, a project startup in the climate space. And I'm gonna be running it for a month, just you know, for my curiosity to learn. And you know, I got offered this just because I do a lot of social media. And I know I could be charging more, and you know, that's not that might not be like life changing money, but it just shows you that like I am not a developer, I am not technically skilled, I did not go to school, but you can still get jobs that are creative. You can be doing community management, you can be doing art designing for these crypto brands, and I'll talk a little bit more about how to kind of go about that, but um, you could also start your own project like my, I did. So there's so many opportunities and you don't have to write a single line of code to be involved. So now you might be wondering, Jade, how do I get started in working in tech? Now, before I do, I, I quickly wanna to touch on a subject, which is genderism. And I was really hesitant to make this video, honestly, just because I got a comment, someone in my DMs just was telling me that like, Jade, don't make videos about women in tech because it can, you know, there's a lot of toxic genderism in that hemisphere of like talking about tech for a specific demographic. You know, I wanna say my intention is not to kind of pursue this headline of like a giant girl gang of people in tech and crypto, right? And the whole goal is just to have this divide in women versus men in tech. No, like that is not my intention. I want equality. I want just to solve this gender gap, right? You know, that's not my intention. I, I really just made this video because I know a bunch of girlies um, that are so intimidated by the current plethora of educational content on YouTube about crypto. And I wanted something a bit more approachable and fun. So that is the reason why I'm using that title. Beyond that, just, I guess a huge note is just being mindful of the using the word women in tech or just be mindful of when you see these groups and try to also interact with not just girls, but men, of course. Like the idea is, is full equality here. So that's something I wanted to know before making this video. And hopefully this can inspire you to not treat someone differently based on their gender. Obviously, if you see a girl or anybody, literally anybody who's kind of confused in 
what crypto is, you want to like explain it to them. But I think there's a huge difference in treating someone differently or creating a whole group of people that are, you know, n not in the hemisphere of tech, right? There's just women in tech and that could be harmful, right? That could cause more insulation, honestly, and co cause more inequality. So I just want to make that note before jumping into this video. So now that I went over that, let's talk about how to get involved. So I'm going to share my top four biggest tips on getting involved in tech. So my first one is getting a Twitter. So getting Twitter is super important because most of crypto and tech is in Twitter. You're going to follow people that are really good thought leaders in the space and trustworthy. So people personally that I follow, I'm actually, what, who do I follow on Twitter that I can recommend? Well, not a shameless plug because I do tweet some fun things on Twitter. You can follow me, J. Wangza. This is your greatest resource if you're trying to see what I'm up to on my current projects and my companies. Another person you should follow is Maxie Ryan. Her handle is M-A-X-I-E Ryan, R-Y-A-N. She is a founder of a company called Pulsar, but she's just a great person you should follow. She talks a lot about crypto and, and tech, and she's also has a podcast, which I've been on. And you should check out my company's profile, NF Treehouse. It's just a great space if you guys want to get involved in the crypto climate and space as well. And we post job opportunities all the time there. So those are three people you can already follow. Two of them are my projects. I'm sorry. I really believe what I'm doing. So I am going to promote it. But check out Maxine. I'm going to link some more people. But Twitter is where it's at. Literally every day you can scroll, learn something new, get, get links, find people. And literally just search the hashtag. You can search crypto and you can find a lot of communities. You can also search hashtag crypto women NFT. Find a bunch of women led NFT projects, which is amazing. So jump right in and get a Twitter. The second thing once you get a Twitter is join a community. Like I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I recently took a social media contract work part-time for this climate crypto project and it's called Refi Dow, R-E-F-Y, wait, R-E-F-I. <laughs> and we are building a community of people who are into crypto, but care about the environment and you guys should join the community. It doesn't have to be this community. You can join any others. I'm just making a video about this. So I'm, <laughs> I can't, I'm talking about our projects. I really did not attend this video to be just Jade promoting her projects, but I really do only work on things I really believe in. So I'm going to promote it. So you guys should join a community because joining a community is a bit more deeper than just following someone on Twitter. Joining a community means following them on Discord where you can interact with other people in the community and you can also attend the events, you get announcements. It's really important to, you know, most of the community activity online happens on Discord. It's not the only platform, but it's the biggest one. So after getting a Twitter, you want to join some sort of Discord community. And I'm going to suggest Refi Dow because it's very vibrant. You guys can follow us on Twitter if you guys want to learn more and TikTok because we have a TikTok and and um, you guys can get plugged in into that information. But that is the best opportunity, literally, to find and meet people. And you can just, you know, start to watch or interact or just say hello. Like, a lot of people say, like, Jade, what do I have to do in these communities? Nothing. You can just say, GM, good morning, <laughs> every day. And that's fine. Obviously, you know, you might want to read stuff in the Discord. But it's really important just to, to, in the beginning, just, like, you know, ask questions, interact. And you don't need to say anything unless you're comfortable. The next thing is, and this is my biggest tip is if you're trying to like, I'm assuming you're watching this video to get a job in tech, but specifically in crypto, if you want a job ASAP, join a conference, okay? I know it might cost money to get a flight and go to Denver, Colorado and, and, and attend a conference, but you can volunteer. If, if you have issues with money, a lot of the times, a lot of crypto projects will sponsor people to fly out. Just literally email, like the, the next conference I would say in the US that's coming up is probably ETH Austin, which is in March. DM the organizer, say, hey, I really wanna attend, I wanna volunteer, is there any way, there's you know, compensation, volunteer, like there's ways to go around it. If you have your own money, great, but spend $200 on a plane ticket, stay in a friend's house and volunteer and you can get into these conferences and nine times out of 10, there will be opportunities for you, especially if you're a marketer, especially if you are a designer, developer, whatever, you will meet people by volunteering. There are 15,000 people that came to the last conference in East Denver and literally I have friends that got jobs. I got a job at the conference too for, I found a client there uh, through on social media. So go to these conferences. It's a lot of work. You're going to pass out. I'm not saying it's an easy thing where you show up to this conference, you get a job. But for the most part, it's super beneficial to build up your network. And you can say, hey, I'm a designer. I'm looking for uh, a crypto project to just to learn from. Do you, know, do you know any? You can just ask anybody, anybody at the conference. And they will say, hey, yeah, I know this guy named Bob. And it's the one thing I will say about the crypto community specifically. I don't know about the whole tech world, but specifically crypto, it's it's very collaborative. It's very community driven. So if you say your needs and, and you really build a personal relationship with someone, they're gonna help you. For my project NF Treehouse, we just found a developer with the conference. I literally ran into someone at the elevator and he turns out to live 
20 minutes away from me in LA. And we just grabbed coffee this morning, literally. And he's going to be building our smart contracts for NFT house. And it was just very natural. And it's in the fucking elevator, you know? So you will never know who you meet at these conferences. And I know it's expensive to get out there, especially if you're maybe out of the States, you're not in the US. But there's also a ton of international conferences. There's one in East Paris. There's one in Portugal. There's a ton in, I think, Asia as well. I will try my best to put some resources down below in the description box. But join a conference. It's an investment, but you can most likely get it sponsored if you ask around. Speaking of events, we're actually having an event at South by Southwest for NF Treehouse. If you guys want to, again, learn more, follow our Twitter and Instagram. That's where you can get the most info. And if you want to be on the wait list to get your own NFT tree, I will put the link in the description box. We are just launching in March 19th. Our wait list will be the people who will be able to get access to mint these trees on March 19th, the first. So like if you want first access to these trees, because we're only planning 60, go check it out. It's in the description box. My next tip for you guys getting into crypto or tech is you have to have the mindset of no expectations. You know, one of the things I will say is be prepared for guys, men to hit on you. I've been in situations where guys would meet with me not to have, you know, a productive conversation, but would want something out of me, uh, which is alarming and sad the society we live in is like this but just be prepared for that you know luckily i have a lot of guy friends that don't treat me differently that you know take me seriously it takes a while to get there sometimes you're gonna have to be around people who are not inviting you're gonna be around mean people you're gonna be around people that will not listen to your ideas but just like in any industry it's gonna be like that i would find honestly out of the whole tech sphere crypto is one of the most welcoming honestly i would say like in tech there's a lot of clicks and people who don't want to let newcomers in, but crypto is very inviting and you just have to trust the process. One of the biggest mindset I have is a part of getting and building crypto is not about getting rich quick. It's about literally being on the face of the new internet. You know, crypto will, I believe this, but crypto will be the way we interact with the world. It's how we're going to use payment in the future. We're not going to use Visa or credit cards. We're going to use digital payments. We already are. We're not going to have, you know, social media engines. We're going to have crypto, you know, tokenized engines like I really I can make a whole video about how I see the next 10 years I mean this is not going to happen now but it's going to be the huge way we're going to see the future and it's just about being early we're frankly early and if you're a girly gal <laughs> or anything in between I think this is a huge opportunity for anybody to just be early and what that means is you know if you're early you're able to adopt the technology faster you're able to you know have a chance of making more money really but also being a part of a new exciting community and although there's a small percentage of girly gals in the tech space specifically in crypto I think that it's also one of the most fun so I really hope these tips will help you I'm going to go answer some questions you guys asked me on Instagram first but yeah if you guys have any more questions just feel free to drop it in the description box and hopefully I can get back to you guys all right so somebody asked how did you get into crypto so personally for me I did not get in crypto until 10 months ago, you guys. So about a year ago, not even a year, I was kind of against crypto. <laughs> I didn't know that crypto was more than just holding a token and waiting for it to go up or down. Crypto is way more than that. You can build impactful projects. I have a friend that's literally, he has his own token. It's called Aquari Dow, A-Q-U-A-R-I. And they're literally cleaning up oceans with blockchain you know they have their own token the way they're funding it the way they are going about cleaning things up is through the fucking blockchain but they're also cleaning and saving the earth right that's why i'm so excited about climate crypto projects because it's tangible value for those who don't know i have a whole video about what crypto is i will link it below but um the blockchain is transparent anybody can look up what you're doing and that's a good thing because it keeps communities accountable it keeps companies accountable and i think a huge part of that is also you can raise money on crypto it's, it, like nfts are such a great fundraising tool right because when you think about it if if i you know nft house our business model is every time someone resells a tree, we get a percentage back and we use that money to plant more trees, right? If we were just to do NF tree house on like, I don't know, like a, we just sold a tree on a website, we wouldn't be able to track those royalties. And, and that's why blockchain is, is so powerful. And we can really do some impactful work here. So a year ago, I wasn't into crypto. I think I got into it because my dad, he's into, he's into, he's a tech bro. And he was like, Jade, you need to look at this like crypto shit. <laughs> and I was so against it. And it took me forever to actually start to invest in crypto, let alone build stuff. But honestly, after going to conferences, after joining a bunch of groups, I've learned there's so much else you can do. I haven't made a billion dollars in crypto yet, but I've definitely made like a lot more money than I would last year if I didn't invest any money. If you guys don't know, I put around like 500 bucks a month in crypto. Like I don't put thousands of dollars because I just don't have that money. But I learned so much 
just by doing it. And also I build stuff. So I just find that, you know, after doing that, I feel like I'm never going back to any other tech or a career path. I just love, I don't even love tech. I'm not a huge crypto fanatic. I'm not like a nerd like that, which being a nerd is not a bad thing. I just think it's so fucking cool. Like I don't know much. I don't know the intricacies of the technology. I, I know the fundamentals and I know the basics, but if you told me to build a smart contract, NFT platform would not know how to do that. But I'm just so fascinated by the technology and the community behind it and the use cases that um, I'm sold. I'm never going back. So yeah, if you guys were curious, before this, I was doing marketing agency brand work for for companies and I still do. But now I would say my future, my where I'm headed is like the intersection between climate change and crypto and creators. That's that's where my brain's headed. Um, someone asked, is it overwhelming? I would say yes. It is extremely overwhelming to be in tech or crypto just because there's so much going on because there's so much money everyone's trying to get in like literally i have two thousand more dis like discord notifications which is not a bad thing you just have to really prioritize um certain things like there's so many discords you guys can join that's why i only listed one in this video which is mine because you guys can literally search on twitter any other nft project and you can join their discord and learn so much more but like i said you guys what i would say is just figure out what you are really valuing in like if you care a lot about memes join a discord meme server right where you can learn about crypto memes if you're really passionate about climate change like mine you can join refi dao so it's it's really just about prioritizing what you're into and then it's less overwhelming if you just join everything it it can get fucking crazy like i i, I joke about this but i i literally think discord is slack on crack because it's like fucking there's so much notifications. Someone asks, how does it feel to be at the forefront of new tech? It feels really cool. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a badass superhero sometimes. Or maybe I'm just like trying to romanticize my life. But it's cool. You know, although no one really gets you. That's the thing. Like, I mean, here's the thing. I make YouTube videos about everything I'm into. I'm into some weird shit. I'm into crypto. I'm into uh, surfing. I'm into creators. How many people that enjoy those three things watch my videos Probably not that many. Like, not a lot of people enjoy those three things in, in combination. But that's okay. Because I accept who I am. And I'm not going to make content or things that I'm not truly passionate about. And I feel like everybody should do that. Everybody should find... It doesn't even have to be crypto. Just figure out what you really like, even though there's not a lot of people in it. Like, that's the most liberating thing. When you can figure out... Like, even with content, right? If you don't get a lot of views on it, but you love it, you love what you're doing, that is so fun. It's so liberating. Not everything has to be viral and not everything has to be 10x, you know what I mean? Okay, I don't think we have any other questions. I told you guys to ask me questions about being a creator woman in tech. And someone says, I know you are a woman just because you're huge, but proves it. So just to show you that um, uh, there's a lot of genderism here and it's hard to be taken seriously. So yay <laughs> anyways i hope this video was somewhat helpful i hope you guys enjoy it i don't know sometimes i make videos that like are strange but all i need is one person to enjoy this video and hopefully you guys can get inspired to get on board with signing up on twitter discord and all that stuff and become part of this new internet i will catch you guys later shout out to the comment winner and i will see you soon